Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to create these beautiful autumn leaves using acrylic paints. If you're new to my channel, I create painting tutorials every Wednesday, so please be sure to like and subscribe. Let's go! Okay, welcome everybody. So, to get started, these are the materials you'll be using for your painting. I'm going to be using an 11 by 14 pre-gessoed canvas. I mean, I'm going to be using three different types of brushes. So I have, I have here a large flat wash brush, a number four filbert brush, and number two round detail brush. So I'll be using those three brushes and we're going to be using four different colors. So I have a primary red, yellow, a titanium white, and a primary Mars black. So I'll be using those four colors and these three brushes. And you could find a list of all these different types of materials I'm using in the description below. So please be sure to check those out. Okay, so what I'm gonna start by doing is I'm gonna start by making the background image for this. So what I'm gonna start is I'm going to take my, I'm gonna take my flat wash. I'm gonna dip in my paint water. And then what I'm gonna do is I wanna make um, a slight uh, gray color, but not too much. So I'm gonna take some white and I'm gonna take a little bit of black. Like you can barely, you can barely see that I have black on there. And so I'm just gonna add black in one little bit at a time because when whenever you're dealing with black, it's a very dominant color. So you wanna put in a little bit at a time until you hit the shade that you're really, really happy with. So, so I'm just continuously adding black until I'm getting a gray that I'm really happy with. You know what, I'm gonna keep going a little further. It's the beauty of, of doing this. You can just keep adding, adding, and adding until you are pretty happy with the shade. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. This is like a, a very light gray color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load my brush up and then I'm just going to take my brush and with the broad side down, I'm just going to spread the color. And as always, if you have trouble pulling your acrylic adding a little bit of water really does go a long way. And I really don't want to cake my canvas with this color. Um, I just want to give it that nice washed background so we can create that extra contrast with our leaves. So I was actually on my morning walk, just taking in the scenery. You know, it's a beautiful November morning. The sun is shining and it's, you know, it's pretty cold. So I'm wrapped up real tight in a blanket, uh, a blanket in a, um, <laughs> it'd be kind of weird if I just walked outside with a blanket on, um, with just a lot of layers. And I was walking and I looked down at my feet and there's a lot of different color leaves everywhere. But for some reason, these three combinations of leaves that I saw right next to each other on the ground, I, I simply had to stop and take a picture. And then I decided to myself, you know what? I'm gonna make a video on how to make these colors because the leaves are so gorgeous and I could not pass up the opportunity. Okay, so you can see I have very, very slight gray wash. I don't want to go any crazier than that. Um, but again, this is your call. It's your painting. If you feel like you really want to go a little darker with this, that's totally you, boo. You can totally do that. Dear Lord, <laughs> uh, painting mishaps, that's okay. So if that ever happens to you, 
Um, I'm just going to take my white, combine that, and I'm just going to spread out the paint. See, the thing about being creative is kind of working, working um, with what you got, right? So you just kind of adapt and adjust as you go. That was actually pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty happy how that streak came out. All right, cool. So I'm gonna let this part dry and then we're gonna go back in and add in our leaves. Okay, so now that my canvas is nice and dry, what I'm gonna start to do is create my leaves. So the first thing I'm gonna start out with is I'm gonna start out with my detail brush. Um, I wanna go and work on the actual outline first, kind of get an idea of where everything's gonna go before I start to lay down color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my detail brush, dip it in some water, and what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna take some black. And I'm gonna take a little bit of white. I just wanna make a dark gray. Now, I don't wanna make this too, too dark because I do wanna be adding you know colors on top of this eventually. But here's what we're going to do. Um, so in the center, like right around here, we have the three point leaf. And this leaf, I think I want it to be the main focal point here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and make an outline. So I got, I'm going to get the tip of the leaf here. And I'm just kind of taking my brush very much like a pencil. Um, and I'm just using that to create an outline of, of this leaf. Now, just to be aware, you know, just to give you a little bit of advice when it comes to making um, when it comes to making anything with a detail brush um, I like to hold it like a pencil that helps me maintain a lot of control on my brush and helps me to just kind of take it really slow and steady okay So I'm going to include a printable of this so that you can actually go ahead and just trace so you don't have to do a freehand like I am. But I always figured when it when it comes to leaves, they're, they can be, you know, you can kind of get a little creative with it. It doesn't have to be super perfect. Now I do, let's see, I do want to create that like broken off leaf look that, you know, from this leaf picture that I have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that part in. And I'm gonna do that other part of the leaf. And it comes to a point and it rounds out. comes to a, to a little uh, cusp right here. And you know what, sometimes like when I'm looking at this full on, you know, if the, if the shape and proportions don't really make sense, I just kind of go ahead and add. So I'm not really like seeing the proportions coming out the way I want them to here. So I'm just going to lengthen this so it does make a little bit more sense. And maybe add a little bit more repeat here. Just like so. Just like so. So that's leaf number one. And then leaf number two, I'm gonna probably have it like right around here somewhere. And it's gonna be halfway out of the canvas. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make that. And what I'm doing here is making sure that my brush is constantly wet because this helps the acrylic to really glide along very easily and very nicely. So it's got some like little ripples here, just like so and disappears off the canvas. Okay. And then we're gonna have another one right around here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make 
like a line, comes out like this, and then another little line, just like so. Okay, <clears throat> and maybe just for measure, I'll just put the stems in so you can kind of get an idea where everything is. And then I'm going to put the little spine here. Once again, this is just, you're just kind of laying down a foundation to get an idea of where everything is going to go. I'm, I'm pretty methodical when it comes to making like a painting. I like to kind of eyeball it, figure out where everything is going to be, where it's going to go. Okay. So I'm just, I'm just playing around, making sure it makes sense before I start to go ahead and add in color and a lot more chaos to this. So... And you know what, it, if you're kind of like into the gray tones and, you know, you can always just fill this in with gray and call it a day. You know, it's a really great decoration piece for your living room. All right, superb. Awesome. Now what I'm going to do next is we're going to start to add in that color. This is the fun part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that filbert brush that I have. And I'm going to first off use the color yellow. I'm just gonna take that and add a little bit of white to it so I can give a little bit of an opaqueness. And then what I'm gonna do is once I have my brush nicely coated, I'm going to go to the bottom here and start to add in that color. And I'm just like, just adding little dabs. I don't wanna go and completely cover everything. I just wanted to go ahead and add little dabs. And I'm just taking my brush, filling out the bottom here. So our uh, leaf does have a yellow bottom to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this in. Okay. And there's also, there's also some tinges of that yellow on the, on the, um, edges on some of the leaves here. So I'm just going ahead and slowly adding some of that in here. And one thing to really take note of is I'm not trying to be perfect with my strokes here. I'm just trying to lay down that color and add in that, that texture. And I'm going in and I'm, and I'm, you know, making some effort to cover it up that gray. We'll be going back in later and adding in the shadows, but um, I'm not afraid to kind of go in and just cover up some of that gray, even though it is still a little wet. I do, I do like that a lot. Okay. So I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with that layer. Because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and make an orange. So I'm just going to take the same brush. I'm not really going to clean it, honestly. Uh, we're all kind of using the same color palettes at this point. I'm going to take some yellow and I'm going to take a little bit of red. And I'm just going to combine those colors together. Um, it's always kind of important when you're making orange, like especially if you don't want it to be like a very vibrant orange, you, can, you, you want to use a lot more yellow than red. And I'm just adding a tiny bit of white kind of just uh, toned this down a little bit. So I think I think I got a, a nice yellow to work with, uh, orange to work with. So once, once I got that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this area of my leaf and I'm just going to start uh, laying down that color. And because my yellow is still pretty wet from underneath, it's gonna blend really nicely with this color. Okay. Now, I want to make sure that my brush is not completely wet while I'm, you know, blending at least on the like bottom portion here of the leaf. I want to make sure that like I'm very very lightly just going back and forth with my brush. Um, I don't want to lose whatever I put down underneath, but at the same time, um, I don't want to be loading up my brush and taking all that color and kind of just like making it get lost. But I do want to create that, that, 
that illusion there. So um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna keep dipping my, my brush in a little water to help the paint carry. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill this part in. And again, I don't wanna load my brush too, too much with the orange color, because I do want it to play with the yellow tones that I previously had set down. So this is a big concept of blending, is you want to be working with multiple colors and it's okay to have them come together and kind of overlap each other. So as you can see, like that orange I laid down previously kind of disappeared. So all I'm going to do is just I'm going to go back in with my brush, add in some yellow back in, and because everything is still wet, oh baby, you are in a blending heaven right now. So I'm adding in that yellow at the spots that I wanted it primarily to you know, be present. So I just go back in and add it. So this is where blending becomes um, interchangeable and fun. You kind of go and feel it out. And if you're, you feel like you lost that color that you were trying to go for before, you just, you know, especially when your canvas is still wet, you just kind of go back in and add in that color and you can interchange. So. You know, now that I kind of added in, back in that yellow, and you know, I feel like I feel good about it, but I still want to see more of that orange, I just go back in with orange, and I repeat. And I keep blending, blending, blending until I'm happy with it. Now, this this is pretty much the, the whole premise of blending, guys, so don't don't be afraid to make mistakes, to just have fun with this, okay? Blending happens when everything is wet on your canvas. But because those those two acrylic colors or three, whatever, how many you have, want to all blend together. And that's what makes that part just really, really fun for you to do. You can already see the color gradient happening here. It's gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of that yellow back, uh, orange back in here. Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. So now on this area here, we're looking at a like a lot more of a red tone. So um, I'm not really going to clean my brush because again, everything kind of just works together. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some red on my brush and a tiny bit of yellow, just a little bit, because um, it, it is not just like a pure red, but there, there are, um, it's my, mainly red. So now that I got my brush nicely coated, I'm going to go ahead and fill this Part here with red. And again, your canvas, this is, you know, you're creating that, that canvas to um, be wet and ready for blending, okay? So I'm just making sure to dip this into my water so I can get a nice clean edge. And now I'm just going to I'm just going to go ahead and start to spread that color. Again, I don't want to keep redipping my brush back into the red because it is a very powerful color. So I just want to just very lightly start brushing the paint onto my brush here. And I'm just spreading that over. It's primarily like on the right, on the right side of the brush here, so of the the leaf. So I'm not gonna go ahead and like cover everything, but this is primarily what we're looking at. Fix 
very lightly touching my canvas. I'm not really like putting a lot of pressure on this. Okay. So now that I kind of have a color that I set down that, you know, look is look is starting to look pretty cool. Again, I want to make sure that I capture those colors. So, you know, I lost some of the I lost some of the yellow down here. So I'm just going to go back in. I'm going to clean my brush this time. I'm going to go back in and because my canvas is still wet, this is perfect. Um, I can go back in and start to add in my yellow again, okay? And I'm just going in with the same strokes, okay? And that's, this is exactly what you want to keep doing. You want to keep going back and forth, especially while your paint is still wet. Okay, I cannot stress that enough. See, see how you can already like see the, the color variance by just going back and forth with the colors you were using. This is this is so much fun, and um, honestly, you really you really can't mess up. You really can't. I mean, you know, I, I've seen a lot of people kind of like get very like tense and kind of worked up when they're working on a canvas and they're you know they're not like they're not getting it. Um, <laughs> I, I always tell them, you know, hey, look, you got to relax. You have to just take a breath. It's all going to work out okay, you know? And I think those are the type of people, like, I, I was very much like that. Like, you're just so, so stressed out. Everything is a problem, and, you know, it's never going to be perfect, and you're not perfect, and everything is going to be a failure. Um, painting should never be, you should never approach painting in, in that you know, with that with that mindset, because you are not going to enjoy the process otherwise. Painting is about just being experimental and just being okay with the fact that you're you know you're not entirely sure where it's gonna be, where it's gonna go. Um, but that's what makes it so incredibly fun. Um, is that it's a journey. You you really are not sure how it's gonna go, but in the end, you always know it's gonna be a good a good ending. So I'm really, really, really digging these colors here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make the outline here. And the outline of the vein is, I'm just gonna use a little bit of a black. I'm just gonna take my brush, very, very lightly, just bring it up to right about, right about here in the leaf. And then, I'm just gonna do another one coming out this way. I don't wanna do like a very, I don't wanna make a very defined looking line, I just want it want it to like kind of be a hint that it's there <clears throat> then I got another line coming out this way just like so and then I'm just gonna do a couple little veins coming out on the sides here and on this side same on this side here And I'm just gonna go and add in some of the dark outline here of the leaf sitting, or I, I guess the shadow of the leaf on the ground here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some shadow details. Very cool. I'm 
Okay, awesome. I'm pretty happy with this one. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and kind of fill up a little more of the gray here. So I might, I might just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go and use my orange with my detail brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add in that color so that covers it up. And I'm going to do that on the other ed edges as well. Okay, awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the leaf that's here. Now this leaf is primarily like, primarily yellow for the most part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my filbert, I'm gonna make sure he's clean, and I'm gonna take some yellow. Okay, I'm just gonna apply it on my brush. And I'm gonna take like the slightest hint of red, like very, very, like you can barely see it on my brush. I just wanted to take a little bit just so I can get a nice, a uh, little tone. Then I want to get some white and add that into my yellow. Okay, so it's nice and muted. Now what I'm just going to do is, this is a lot easier than our first one, but I'm just going to go ahead and add in that color. And I'm also making sure to get the edges of where the leaf kind of goes off on the canvas. Okay. And I am taking the time to, you know, try to cover up the, the gray that we used prior. So now what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to add a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of orange to this. So I'm going back into that orange we previously made. And I'm just going to go onto the edges a little bit here and just go ahead and just very lightly add in that orange. I don't want to do too much, just, just a little bit. Just want to go on, on that one side. And because, once again, because my canvas is still very wet, this is gonna create a really nice gradient. See, just like so, very easy, very simple. Nothing, nothing complicated really. Okay. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take my point, uh, my detail brush, and I wanna just go ahead and just um, fix up the, the little stem and some little detail area. So um, I'm going to use that orange. And what I do want to do is just add a little bit more red to it. So I have like a nice orange color to deal with. Okay. So I'm making sure my brush is not like globbed with this paint, but just enough. And I'm just going to go ahead very, very slowly, very lightly, just go ahead and add in the center vein, and then it's gonna go off out onto the stem itself and go out like so. Okay. And I'm also gonna go back in on this area and just kind of like accentuate out a bit more of that yellow in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and add some veins. Just coming out very slight. I don't want it to be too, too much. Just, just a little bit. Okay. Okay. And let's see. So there aren't really any shadows playing on this. So we'll leave that alone for now. Actually, I do want to add a little bit of black 
to this. So I'm just gonna go in, just a touch of black, very lightly, and I'm gonna just go over that vein, just like so. Just add a little bit of that vein action going on there. Very slight, but it's a, it's a nice way to Nice way to just get a little bit of that contrast, so I'm just going to bring it all the way out this way. Okay. Now there is a tiny bit of a shadow now that I'm looking at this, so I'm just going to go in on this side and just add in a little outline. Not too much, just a little. I'm barely touching my canvas. Like my brush is nice and wet and just like, you know, the canvas is pulling that paint off really nicely. And then, last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and do that leaf that's on the corner there. This one has more of, a, of an orange kind of influence to it, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get more of that orange that I wanted. Now this one is uh, a yellow orange, like kind of what we are doing in the beginning. Um, so I'm making sure to add in a lot more yellow than red to this. I don't want to make I want to make sure I'm not globbing all that paint because now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and add in that color and then very simply I'm just gonna go ahead and add it in just like so okay now that I have that color what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my filbert, clean them, and then I'm just gonna go in and with some yellow, and then I'm gonna add some white to the yellow. Wipe off all the excess paint. Because now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in and on this side of the leaf, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and add in that color. And this is gonna create you know, once again, it's gonna create like another um, depth to the leaf. I'm gonna add a little bit on this side, but not too much. My canvas is still very wet. So once again, it's great, great for blending. Okay, I don't wanna to focus too much on that, but it's just enough to cover it. And I'm gonna go back in with my orange and I'm just gonna go in, add in some of that color, just like so. Okay. And I do want to add in a, just another, like a touch of, of yellow one more time. This time I just dipped straight into, into yellow. I'm just adding it, just like so. Just little dips, little dabs. Not too crazy. Okay. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. Now, lastly, I just have to do a little shadow on this. So once again, I'm just going to use my black, dip it in, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of a shadow on this side here. It's mostly on the top here. Just like so. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and add in, just go and re-emphasize that spine there, as well as just some of the little veins that are coming out of the spine. If you guys had fun painting with me today, please be sure to give this video a like and to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more awesome painting tutorials from me in the future. And if you would like more exclusive content from me, like a live Q&A session and future painting tips to help improve your painting game, please be sure to check out my Patreon page and I'll include a link in the description below. I hope you guys had fun and I'll see you next week.